I saw fish. Harry, I saw a bass over here, about three, four pounds swam by me. You hear me? You getting bumped? I saw a bass swim by me that had to be like three, four pounds. Like that big one you lost? Yeah. Sw swam right through here. Didn't look at my mini at all, but swam right through here. Yeah, there, look, look. They're hitting the shit out of it. There he goes. Nice bluegill. Nice bluegill. Yeah. Nice gill. Guys, look at that. Giant bluegill, I guess. Just got him. Huh? Put it back. Wow. Let's see if we can get another one out there. Huh? Keep turning these off because the bite's really slow right now. It's like close to the middle of the day. So, there really aren't. They're not like killing us like I would anticipate them to be if it was like earlier or later. I Man, you can see out there there's all kind of waking on the water and stuff. This got some big fish in here and I just threw right in the tree. Uh, got it right out. So far just bluegills but and one small bass, but I can see the potential here for some big ones. Doesn't look overly fished. It's fish, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's overly fished. Let's see if we can get another one. There's always a certain amount of people fishing in an area, and they usually fish a certain way. So I'm just hoping that since I'm new to this, I'm fishing away the fish aren't used to. Maybe I'll get a couple of fish. So far, I've gotten panfish, one small bass. That's it. Nice gill here again, guys. Ooh, look at this. He's got some nice gills in here. Huh? That is a beauty. Nice, clean, big bluegills. And they is feisty when you get one. There was a bass in here. There's a little one. I saw some bigger ones swimming in there, believe me. There's bigger ones. Let's get back out there. Now, never been to this body of water here. Found it with Google Maps. We're not far from the other place we were at earlier today. Uh, we decided to look around on Google Maps, see if there's anything else where maybe there's some shade over the water. Uh, this place is shaded. It's tough fishing, though, but it's shaded. But that's fishing, right, guys? <laughs> that is fishing. Let's go back over. This looks a little fishier from over in this position. Like it might be a little harder to get to them, but it does look fishier. And I'll tell you, and everybody else will tell you, you know, you want to catch fish. You got to go where the fish are. The fish are down here with this vegetation in the water and stuff. That's where the little ones are hiding out. So, guess what? That's where the big ones are going to be. There's a big bluegill after me. Definitely be a great place to get into with a little kayak or something. Fish one, guys. 
Looks like another big gill, maybe. Ooh. You know, when it comes to tenacity and fun catching, you can't beat big bluegills. <laughs> when everybody else wants to stay at home, they're up there doing their best to fill their bellies. That is a beautiful gill, huh? Get back out there. There's some hungry fish in here. <laughs> There's a lot of hungry fish in here. Almost impossible to fish for them right here very well. But they are definitely out here. Let's see if we can get them. And these fish are just ripping this poor gulp alive mini up. I can see them out there. There's a ton of big bluegills laying right out here off this little bunch of trees. Well, let's move. I think I spooked them up enough there. Let's go around this this clump. See if we can't come out over there somewhere. This is definitely taking it to the next level to try to catch some fish, huh? But it's what I do. <laughs> it's what I enjoy. If you can't hike in and investigate some real remote areas, even if people fish it from a dam breast, it's the back corner I want to fish in. How do I get there? What do I got to do? Is there any fish over there? It's a lot of times. Sometimes that's the place to go, man. You gotta have the stomach to do it. The tenacity. The, uh, the sure willpower. You know? That's what I like about fishing. You can do it all the time. Over and over and over. You know, when I'm out here, I like to take note to, you know, blueberry bushes. You know, the wild edibles while I'm out here, because, you know, I might get hungry sometime when I'm out here. Looks like people camp here. Okay. There are camps out here. It's really a cool place to be. Never would have thought this place was like this until we got up here. Harry and I found it on Google Maps. Yeah, yay for Google Maps. You know? I'm going to find a lot of places on Google Maps, so let's go try this spot. Oh, see what's out here. What do you think? Let's, let's look here. What do I do? I have one in here, so I don't worry. There he is, guys. Dinky, but we got him. We'll put him back. Got to be some big ones in there. All these little ones. And if somebody's keeping them, something's eating them all. Something, something going on with them. Yeah. I guess you're ready to go now? Yeah, I have enough. Yeah, so do I. I'll be I'll be coming. I'm coming. All right. Yeah, wait for me, please. All right. All right. Bye. All right, guys. Harry and I are going to be heading out. Been good. Been fun. Until next time, y'all take care and God bless.